Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, welcome to the channel if you're brand new if you haven't already please smash that subscribe button, it helps that channel so much and we are continuing with Hogwarts Legacy so last episode we started our adventure by getting to Hogwarts and all that got Hufflepuff now we're just continuing and see what happens I drank someone's tea Mm. Well, that was that for. All right then. <laughs> oh wow! Very clean. Who's going to win it? White or black? Black wins. isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself. Especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. Uh. I'm a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... Inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Okay. Adieu. Who the hell's this person I've talked to now? This doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. <coughs> well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Mm. Of course. Maybe we should have asked our uncle or not. That's a school. Doesn't see what happens in that. Arthur's got you. It's all right. You don't need to be frightened, little cat. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way, all right? I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? 
No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. Yep. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did okay. bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Yeah, I have a direction, so I'm going to get lost so quickly and easily. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. Where those? <laughs> for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education okay. at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What the hell's going on? What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable okay. resource. <laughs> Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may Need to wait, Professor. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. Do the payment do the payments move or not? Some do, some don't. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train I'm running right behind you. Your surroundings. Do keep up. Simply cast Revelio on it and we'll see what the guide says. Rebellion. House Alvesby book. Yes, Professor. I think you say, Professor. Inside and outside of the castle. Hmm. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. <coughs> Your field guide contains so, a map. 
Open it up and find Central Hall. Travel there, okay. Oh god, this is gonna too many buttons to them button all that. But of course the more I do, the more I learn and all of it. I just want to explore and do what I want, to be honest. That's what I really, really want to do. So let me do what I want to do. Quite the time saver. Oh, I just saw one piece of paper flying, flying around. Really, that meant flying around. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, <laughs> so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become warriors. Fortunately, we are lucky to okay, have about charms. Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, or terrible snake. I know this enjoy, Professor all Rowan. before. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. There is, in fact. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. I think I'm in trouble. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. 
Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay, Professor, what's going on? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the head. Oh, I never I hate choices, I hate better left. I've because. never more good choices I've asked. Her. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay, so I've got a map. I should be able to go then, okay. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these Yes, moments. Professor, thank you. Now that I can do one. <laughs> oh, wow. It looks incredible. Okay, so there's just in between this wall. Alright, first let's just run to class. Oh, fire. What are you up to now? Not one of them deserves more than a tape. Hmm. Don't know if I was anything or not. Anyway, anywho, let's just run up here. Okay, my quest. No, I just want to do it now. I don't know if I'm doing dark arts or charms first, but. As we go, Vince against Dark Arts. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Ah. To the wild. 
Also, weil er One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso. Okay. Now, let's try something a little larger. Foot sound comes out of my controller. Okay. How am I doing this then? Let us begin with the basic cost. Yes. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent. So, now, well done. Good. Now, the basic cast. Very good. But the best way to practice is by duel. We'll start with you two. Okay, he's a sliver and take your I'm going to enjoy so doing this now. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic Mr. Professor, that's and Protego. Yes. You may begin. <laughs> this can't be a fair duel. Let's just say I'm a prisoner. So the timing on each spell, good to know. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. Severance. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, Thank you, Professor. Well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. So now she won't properly, not like fast. Oh. Not just a That's little. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. You drilled Sebastian. Can I need to talk to me? No, nope. okay. Well done. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice. It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Oh, which one? To go? Oh, I'll go for that one. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive Sounds interesting. unsanctioned dueling organization. 
Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Ah, you can hear Slytherin. Can we really trust we'll Slytherin? We'll your performance today with sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If Get me out of here. Till next time. First class. I find an adventure, are we? I was going to have a look around. That's cool, Peyton. So that's downstairs then, or is up here? Let's keep going. How the hell do I go up there? Ah. Wait a minute. Oh god. Too many faster stairs. Ugh. I'm knackered. It's like Merlin. Or Emeris, as you would be known. As. So I've got that there. And then the werewolves join the goblins in the upland. Where were you? In the goblin rebellion? Oh god, I'm not gonna be able to do this sort of stuff. The minister for magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. Oh, well, I won't say my goodbyes. I should cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fine. Fight. It's a bold attack. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flack? Oh, bloody ghosts. They always go people in trouble, don't they? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before. Let me have a looky, son. And see what the charms is about. Behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Year 5 of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. Right, I more, am the more confident that we will take hold of the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But, before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your oh, holidays what I'm for. oblivious on one another. I'm uplifting <laughs> and funny, and Snape. Uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place okay. now. Okay. So now I'm learning Akio. Akio. 
That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside <laughs> for a spot of fresh air. After me! Found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players among us would be, agree. Do I get to be a Quidditch player eventually? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> God, I was like magic in my life. Why could you do that? Okay. <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Very simply, cast Akio and say what's there. Very good. Happens to the best of us. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them okay. toward you. Excellent control there. That's, it. That's hard. Stay focused. Very good. Points to Huff and Puff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some have to hold competition. Such Miss and I, would you swear give twice. our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, He's first. you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Hmm. Here we go. Very clever. Fifty points. Ah, Just trying to knock us off. Uh huh. That is how it's done. I want a rematch. Can I knock hers off? Ah, bollocks. She's won. 50 points. Let us make this a bit more interesting, now what? shall we? Oh, now we got boxes. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter, focus now, you will need it. This round settles it all. There we go. Action. So if I'm not talking about some retrying concentration. Very good. Yes, yes, that's how it's done. That is how it's done. Just 
Oh, I just knocked her. So. Well done. I'm really gonna go for. Let us go go right for the big ones right now. Oh, it's right on the edge. It's a tie. Excellent control there. Oh, she's won it though. All together. Very good, both of you. Well done. <sighs> God. Got any controls, but other than that. Really good game so far, I've actually enjoying it a lot. Pass is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. A tight game. It turns out we were evenly matched. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred. Glad you understand. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. Okay. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Huh. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand? Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thin so she's a that had without anything at all. Hmm. And then it just materialized. So we've met a couple of buffs. Met a Slytherin. Now a Gryffindor. Who's going to be the Ravenclaw to me? Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So, yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can A word ask you if you would. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? And what a close match between you and Miss Onai. Invigorating. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor. Though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon okay, regarding Professor. a special assignment that I am preparing oh, for you. Can I... If I need to look for some here... Our oh, first even I think. Professor Roman reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, okay. but a bit mad. Alright, now that's...
This is how I came in. Fuck's sake, how the hell do I get out of here now? Oh. I'm an idiot, I went wrong way. Hello there, you're the new student, aren't you? Hello, you wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale, I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Well, it's one thing to do one thing. I forget my wrong button. That's why I hold my wand out a lot. Well, I want to get as much as I can done while I was exploring Cogwarts. Did someone get lost? Oh, that's cool. Is there a five I can travel to? No, but I not I would not like to battle that. No. Okay, go about an extra couple of minutes. Let's just have a little wander around these places. There's no one unlocked. I might send it here. Well, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, it helps our channel so much. And please share the video if you can and try and help me grow my channel as well, we must appreciate it. With that said, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.